So finally, the best Android 14 beta update is here. The Android 14 beta 4 is now released. And in this version, in this latest update, the major thing, the major change is the Easter egg. It's included. It's finally included. This is having the July security patch, Android 14 beta 4. If you take a look at this, you can see whenever you open this in the previous updates, like Android 14 developer previews or Android 14 public beta, sorry, not actually public beta, kind of public beta, but beta 1. 1, 2, 3, all those versions include Android 13 style Easter egg, but with this update, finally Android 14 Easter egg rolled out. So it looks like maybe with the last update is coming, which is Android 14 beta 5. After that, we're getting stable Android 14. For now, this is what we have. You can simply hold this Android 14 Easter egg and then you will be able to enter this kind of thing, kind of a game, of course, the same things which were introduced with the previous Android versions Easter egg. Same thing is here and it looks interesting although it's good for time pass kind of fun. If you want to take a look at that, you can go. One more thing is another major change is the auto confirm pin lock. So if you are using screen lock, of course, as your pin lock, then whenever you enter right pin, correct pin, it will automatically confirm that. Simply move on to the security and privacy options, device unlock, screen lock, and here you have the option for this one, auto confirm unlock. One disadvantage right now is that for this to work, you must have the six digit pin entered. If you are using four digit pin, this thing will not work for you. Kind of disappointing but maybe with the stable update they will fix this or they will simply change the rule but for now you have to choose this simply like that whenever and whenever you enter any wrong pin it will automatically tell you that this is the wrong pin so whenever you write right pin then you will see that we have this option working another thing is in the sound and vibration you know that ring volume and notification volume are now split so whenever you click here in the volume panel let me show you then whenever you click here you will be able to notice this kind of menu is now changed this is kind of expanded which was not the same like in android 13. in android 13 we have the ring and notification volume linked to each other as far as i know but in android 14 beta 4 all these things are simply changed and kind of splitted we have the separate ring volume separate notification volume and that is really useful we should have that also same like that if we move on to the volume panel once again you can simply take a look here this silent icon is a bit changed it's not like the same android 13 it it actually looks amazing to be honest it, it is looking quite good whenever you whenever you move your device and you put your device into silent mode then you will be able to notice this I have another device running Android 13 custom room. Let me show you in previous versions. This was how the silent icon was looking like. But in my left side, you can see the Android 14 now introduced new silent option, silent icon in the status bar. So these are some major changes which were included with Android 14 beta 4. If you want to take a look at the Android 14 beta 3, beta 2 or beta 1 changes, I made a specific videos all on to all of those things. You can see we have clock color customizations, clock customizations and much more. This is it from today's short and simple video. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.